Did you know that you can send WhatsApp messages from your Microsoft Access database? First, we're going to go to Twilio and set up an account, and then we're going to do some basic programming in our Microsoft Access database so that we can send a message. You can even send a message for free using some credits that you get when you set up your Twilio account. Once you've got your Twilio account and you've got all of your connection parameters and things you need to send messages, then it's time to work on our Microsoft Access database. First, we'll set up a simple form where you can put in a phone number and a message that you want to send. Then, we'll do some basic programming in Visual Basic for Applications, which is included with Microsoft Access, in order to send a message. Once we've finished our basic coding, we'll go ahead and we'll test it out. Hey, look, it works! Now I'm sending WhatsApp messages from my Microsoft Access database. And you know what? You can also send attachments. Hey, check this out. I sent a PDF attachment with my WhatsApp message, right from my Microsoft Access database. And you know what? You can too. Make sure to check out the link in the description for the full video so that you can send WhatsApp messages from your Microsoft Access database.